It's a good day to go and replace some busted up fire brick. So yeah, sure enough, a uh, couple years, you know, the logs hit the bricks once in a while and, you know, things fall apart. It took me about a half hour to get some of these pieces out. Uh, like these pieces here were sitting down in the back there. And it took quite a bit of wiggling and prying to get them out. I think just because the ash settles in and kind of wedges uh, them in there. They're just set there. Um, the bottom bricks, you know, they're a little cracked, but in uh, otherwise decent shape. Um, these are the good side bricks I've got. I've got a whole new set of bricks as well. They're all a standard width, so probably this width, and I'm going to have to cut them down to this. So how are we going to do that? Well, that's where the magic of a uh, friction saw comes in. Circular saw blade. Uh, we'll try that out. See how that goes. And then, of course, you know, the actual bricks themselves. Um, these are all standard, what, four and a half inch wide. Looks like uh, they'll, they'll fit those there. Um, they're the right length for these shorter ones, but uh, for these narrower ones, but got to slice off, you know, an inch off of that there. So uh, let's get to it. And while we're here, let's do some cleanup on uh, the outside here. Uh, all this is here, from underneath here, right, put it on top, all that dust from the air blowing around it, gotta do that once in a while. Cleaned out the door already. Um, get some of these passive goods cleaned out. The fan is uh, down in here. There it is. So it's not too bad. I'm backing that out too. Alright, so if I'm lucky, this new fire brick will just lay in here and settle down, but I'm not lucky. It's. No, it will. Okay, it did work. Okay. That's cracked, but that's okay. That actually set in there pretty well. Uh, the corner piece, we can kind of move over a little bit. A lot of black in the corner, holy frig. But that's good. That other piece is broke too, so let me go get a new one. There we go. In theory, this will just slide right in here. See, it's got to slide down to get below this uh, upper edge here. And if I can do that, it in. That's it, right there. And, uh, yeah, looking good. So I vacuumed out all this in here first before I pop these puppies in. But uh, we're, we're looking pretty good here. This is better than I was expecting. Now there's two normal sized bricks on each side. And these pink ones, they're kind of lighter. And they're like, uh, I don't know. They're just lighter. They're, uh, not as dense. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Not as dense. Okay, see that the whole bottom uh, slit, just a microscopic amount. Then uh, I'll put another full size one here. This is one of the replacements from earlier. And see, there's little uh, metal rails this sits against to make the fire brick stand off of the back. And then outside the back, that's your air jacket. Um, then up above is the uh, secondary air injectors. Um, for those that don't know how EPA stoves work, at least uh, this type. No catalytic converter, just uh, secondary air injection. All right, so in theory, this one will also just slide. So you have to pry the floor piece along. Make sure that's uh, set and not uh, causing this to tip in too much. I don't like how that's angled in a bit, so there's just a eighth, quarter inch, or whatever, because if something hits that, bang, it'll break. Not so kosher. Um, got this other replacement brick in. Yeah, likewise here. So, there we go. Kind of get the floor moved over. But then this is what happens over here. So we have to kind of have a compromise where this is not leaning in and this is not leaning in as well um, okay so that's the basics 
I've got those two replacement pieces that replace these two here. <laughs> Crumbly, gotta love it. Now I gotta cut these pieces up um, with the saw. All right, so the blade I have is a circular saw blade. Um, it will fit right in there. Um, standard circular saw, you make sure you have your wrench um, for loosening up the blade. The bri <coughs> brick is not the full width of a 2x4. So this is right now set for cutting 2x4s. Uh, brick is only an inch and change. we got to set the depth, which is set. Um, that's angle over here. And then... Uh, yeah, the, 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 the depth is on the back side. It's been a while since I've used this saw. Holy smokes. So I loosen that up, and then uh, I loosen this up, and then this comes down. And we want it just barely thick enough to cut the brick with our friction blade. You know, typical cheap DeWalt $5 blade. And, you know, let's see what it does. It's got some grit on the edge. Let's see what goes. All right, so view from above. Um, like I said, it's been ages. Yeah, so this uh, has a slider right here. By loosening this up, we that blade is set. So we have to go and check you know, the thickness of a brick. Um, and that's how we set that. Now, if we're going to change out the blade first because this blade just might be a slight bit smaller than this one and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Now normally I chalk this against a piece of wood because uh, it's sharp so we'll do that and we'll keep it unplugged the entire time we're changing anything or putting blades whatever because we don't want to mess with uh, getting cut. Oh, it's been so long. There we go. Ta-da! Easy peasy. And never lose the washer, never lose the bolt, and never lose the wrench. For sure. So, this we keep no matter what blade we're throwing on here. We open the Make a tent for new one. And then, uh, Let's pop that puppy in. It's a concrete masonry cutting um, plate. It'll fit right. This is angle. And this is depth. And we're gonna pull that out and essentially measure up how deep one block is. And uh, so that's a little too much. And in fact, we can even cut it shy and snap it pretty much. So we'll do that. We'll cut it shy. <clears throat> Tighten the heck out of that. Okay. Circular saw is now ready to go. Where am I going to cut it? Am I going to cut it here? I should measure. Measuring's good. Let's do that. We'll get the crumbly pieces out. We'll use some of these to span where we're cutting. And we'll get a new brick. So we're going to cut. It's really interesting. We're going to cut so that we're really this wide. So let's go get a pencil for that. Pencil or a Sharpie, either way. We're not gonna have too much ink uh, hiding out here, so uh, when the fire starts, we'll, we'll be okay. So we do our measurements, make it straight, you know, two, two lines all I need. We'll get another brick to draw the line. And then trick is if you got the two bricks, I could draw this line and draw it on the other side and I'd have my two bricks, but I'll uh, see what I can do here. Nice straight line. And uh, sure enough, I gotta do the same thing for this one. So, because I need two. So, let's 
So let's go do that. Measure, measure that up there. Okay. And uh If you ever have a doubt, you know, draw it that way, and then you can kind of cut back further. That's it. We need to make two cuts, and in theory, we'll be done for the day. So let's see how this goes, right? Uh, we need some power. Power to the... Oh, all right. Give me your extension cord. Make sure you're using an extension cord rated for power that you're using. And it's going to certainly cause people. There we go. So this is an old school Black and Decker. This is metal. I bought this in college, 1989, 1990. Made in Towson, Maryland. You don't even have the safety button on the top, but uh, good old school. Uh, the blade seems to be going okay, so we'll go and. Get ourselves cutting here. Now, only one at a time. That way this is nice and stable. I'm gonna span that opening. Um, safety glasses are always recommended, right? And the indicator's here for where to cut usually. So we'll see what we can do about that. Side with this. <laughs> Bottom line is the friction blade's totally doing its job. Let's go outside and do this. Yep, so we're gonna film this for everybody. We'll get the camera out here on the edge. We'll get the Christmas lights out of the way. Nice safe out of power. Try not to fall on the ice here. <laughs> How are we doing? We got power. All right, so now one fun thing is not to get yourself tangled. So to help it, we'll cut uh, just like this, maybe. Setting right. Oh well, say la vie as they say. Yeah, let's get this uh, somehow tightened. I don't know if I can all of a sudden. Hmm. Not brilliant. Hmm. Alright, it's getting more challenging. I'm trying to cut while this thing is flopping around. Alright, so I'm about 
about halfway cut through. slot <laughs> more than halfway through so I'd hate to go and try and snap this puppy off but maybe it's very useful see what happens right I don't think so all right let's get her done To go get another one of these damn things. Thought it was working all right, but frig. All right. Well, someday I'll get on the front steps too. In good time. But I guess fire brick is uh, a little bit softer than regular, regular brick. Baby. Okay, so yeah, this thing is... Man, we got all dusted up there. Look at this. This thing is uh, a mess. But I got one brick cut. Got the right technique. Just a friction blade of some kind. End game uh, achievement was the cut piece fits nicely in there. So the friction blade's the right idea. It's a shame it kind of fell apart on me, but um, that's the way to go friction blade cut these uh standard things and uh, the standard bricks now i'll just go and cut the the last one over here and we'll be all set here it is 44 dollars worth of blade the guy says it should uh last quite a while i have no reason not to believe him so we're gonna cut the last brick with this and get the wood stove put together all right, so we got the actual tile blade going on here. We'll get this going. Okay. Here we go. Try and cut this puppy. off a little bit so you can see. So that cut pretty well. Much better than that cheesy fiber blade. Holy frig. Alright, so let's get this done. Diamonds. Diamonds the way. Diamonds the man's best friend at this point. <laughs> Can't yeah, think it's moving. Come on, baby. Alright. 
Might have to do another cut. Lower the, lower the deck a bit. That's it. So I left the last, eh, a little more than eighth inch. These steps are going to get replaced at some point, so that's okay. And, uh, whew, baby. So that was nice. Diamond blade, like, no tomorrow. That worked great. And so this is the, you know, narrower part piece. Um, should just fit right in here. And it does. It just fits so nice. Look at that. Uh, it measures up to the top. Got a nice tight, tight, not super tight, but tight enough gap there for fire protection. The two new ones in the back, and this new one over here as well. We are in great shape. Wood stove is now, as they say, ready to roll. And here is the final result. Nice fire going on. The new fire brick is in the background there. I gotta clean the glass, but nevertheless, uh, it's looking good inside of there. That new fire brick's doing really well. Got some fresh logs in here. And, uh, yeah. First day of spring. Woo!